It's been a long time coming from the SC Suck a lot of baby Sometimes it feels like the world is against me Cause I'm coming from SC From heartache and pain Struggle and strain Trying to maintain for the SC So mama don't worry hey, I'ma make my dreams happen Word definition of the day French chips Chips that are cut like a smile line at the contact point. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the Nail Genie SC. How are you? I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Do me a favor, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe and like button for me and let's get into today's video. So guys, in today's video, this is part two and the final part of the two-part video that I started on yesterday. And if you have not saw the first part of this video after this part, or you can pause this part and go on over to the Gel X Dupe application playlist, and you'll find this video in that playlist. Okay? Alright guys, so in today's video, we're going to do the remainder of the set. And of course, you guys know that I use the... Uh, rubber based gel which was by Born Pretty to create the nude look on these full cover short duckies and here I'm just doing the um, crisping up the shape a little bit cleaning it up after a gel application and now I'm going to go in with my e-file and I'm going to go around the cuticle area cleaning up the cuticle area a little bit so that the um, duckies don't look so, um, like press-ons. <laughs> because pretty much that's what these are. They are actually, um, uh, press-ons. Just, I just put them on my own, bonded them to my own nails. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm cleaning up and I am doing some, uh, fouling and buffing. Because this bit that I'm using here, it's almost like a, um, arbor band bit uh where you put this um the mandrel bit where you use your sander or your sanding bands um but this is a carbide bit that has um like a fine grit carbide bit where you can use it to do what your sanding band would do to the nail okay so i'm just going over the nail and i'm just buffing the nail the surface of the nail with this bit going around the cuticle area and this is not a safety bit guys so you want to be careful now this video is sped up on a two times speed but i can assure you guys that i was going at a very um careful careful pace and i think my drill bit maybe was no more between 5,000 and 8,000 rpms to do this part of the work so yeah, when you're using a bit that's not a safety bit, you want to be very careful not to get too aggressive if you're not really skilled or um, a professional at your nail drill, your e-file. And professional level of e-filing is really up to the person and how they use their e-file, how often they use their e-file, and how comfortable they are using their e-file. It does not mean that just because you're not licensed that you're not professional what it means is that if you're not um uh what i want to say what word i'm trying to get out if you're not using your e-file on a regular basis and you're not really sure if you know you know how to clean up around the cuticle area or not with your drill bit or you know what you're doing or you know how to use your fulcrum finger to, uh, uh, you know, uh, brace your hand to keep your e-file going at a steady um, rotation. Moving that drill bit around the nail 
then you might want to be real careful when you're using bits that's not safety bits. Okay? So that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm a professional. I'm telling you guys that I like to use it at the speed I'm most comfortable with. But I also will use uh, different various bits. I like to buy different various drill bits to see what they'll do. And I love to practice on myself when I buy new drill bits before I try to use them on a client or a um, anybody that I'm doing their nails on. Whether it's my daughter, which is not, as a non-paying client, or my clients that are a paying client. So, of course, I want to make sure that whatever this drill bit is supposed to do that it's doing before I try to use it on anyone else so I really 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 like this drill bit um, it actually smooths out the surface of the nail but I am going to go in with a buffer and still buff the surface of the nail as well just to make sure everything is clean because I am going to go in and um, do some Frenchies on these nails now guys I these are just my test nails and I really wanted to see if I just like the desired shape of the nail. Um, would I want to wear these for two weeks or not? Or um, And also do I like the design and do I want to try it in a different color? So I do like the pink and white. Pink and white always going to be your go-to. It's always going to be. It's a clean look. I think it's classy, it's clean, it's professional. It's always a go-to, but you know, your Frenchies now can be any color. You can go with any color Frenchie, and so for me, I was saying, okay, well, let me just do a simple pink and white, um, but I think I am going to do these, but I think I'm going to do them with a different French style. I kind of want, because the fall coming in, and I don't know how you guys will like it, um, but I kind of want to do like a mocha set with um, brown Frenchie. Um, kind of different, but I think I've seen it done before on uh, Get No 32, Natalie Carmona. I think she did it maybe a year, maybe two years ago, and it turned out so pretty. And ever since I've seen that set, I was like, do I want to do a set like that? You know, I've always wanted to try doing a set, and even though it's been like a year or two since I think I've seen her do the set, still it's stuck in my brain, so that tells you... You know, when you see good creativity level, sometimes some things will just stick with you. And so that kind of stuck with me. And I do have the Not Polished Chocolate Collection. So I kind of think I want to do that on my hand for um, the fall season. At this length, with this style. Hmm, I might try it. I don't know. I might try it. But anyway, somebody else might try it since if they're watching my video, they may get ahead of me and do it before me. But hey, to each his own, do whatever you feel you need to do. And we all doing the same thing anyway. We all get inspiration from one another. So feel free to take whatever ideals and, and apply them to yourself, your channel, your, your vision, your thing, your way. Alright, so I'm going in and I am going to go ahead and put my no white top coat on my nails and put it in the light for 60 seconds and now I'm going to go in and create my Frenchies now everybody do their Frenchies their own way the different way and I'm just I'm just trying to learn how to, I like to do my Frenchies now it just depends on what style and what type Frenchie look I'm going for but most of the time I just try to do the A method um, I don't do the T method I uh, should start doing the T method, and I might even try that because sometimes I don't want my Frenchies at a certain level, and that I don't think they always come out all the same. Um, so they're not identical. They more like uh, sisters than identical twins. But I wish I could get them identical, identical. But I like the out the um, outcome of these. So, guys, I'm going to show you all the Frenchies, and that's going to be it to this video. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video by listening to some music, and I'll come back here shortly with my final goodbyes. Enjoy.
thank you all for the support to my channel. I truly appreciate you all very much. If you are here and have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead if you would and hit that subscribe button for me. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family as well as my YouTube journey. And I think I love how these turned out, so I definitely will be doing these again. And I will be doing them and keeping them on for about two weeks. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me over on all of my socials at the Nail Genie SC. And I will see you all in my next video. You already know what time it is. The deuces are flying in the air. Poof. The Nail Genie. She's out.